Hello everyone, my name is Raymond, and I'm a game developer and the creator of Left Turn Legend and The Street King. Today, I wanted to give you guys a tour of my game dev slash gaming setup and let you see a kind of behind the scenes look of how all of my work gets done. So let's get started with the most important part of this setup, the PC itself. This is a custom built PC that needs to be super beefy for all of my game dev projects and all of my gaming for fun. So it has a lot of beefy parts that I handpicked in order to make my dream build. My PC includes 2 terabytes of storage, 32 gigabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA 4080 Super for the graphics card, and an AMD Ryzen 7800X3D for the CPU. Fun fact about the GPU, it was originally supposed to also be an AMD, so generally AMD GPUs are better priced for the performance compared to Nvidia ones, but uh, that's not how things panned out. I got an AMD 7900XTX for the GPU originally. When it shipped, it was broken. It didn't work. So I returned it, bought another one, exact same thing happened, it also didn't work. I know that it wasn't my fault though because the GPUs didn't work in different ways. The first GPU just absolutely died whenever you tried to do anything, like literally opening Chrome and having hardware acceleration on was enough to kill the first GPU instantly. Oh my PC. The second GPU was almost good. Everything worked about it, it ran games well, except for one problem. One of the output ports didn't work at all. Like I think it was the one of the display port ports just didn't do anything. And sure, I guess I could have taken it and just accepted that I had some other ports that were usable, but when I'm spending that much money on a GPU, I really don't want something that's broken. So with two broken GPUs in a row from AMD, I decided to just bite the bullet and take an NVIDIA GPU, even though it did cost more. I just wanted something that worked at that point. Now the whole GPU issue took quite a while and made the build process a lot more annoying than it should have. I think I finished this build a few months later than I expected, just because of the GPU. But besides that, everything went smoothly and now I have my own custom built PC. Besides my main PC, I also have a ton of crap on my desk, so let's go over what each of these things are. Over here, I have my work Mac, so this is for my job, and it's not used for any of my personal projects, so I don't touch it for any of my game dev or anything like that. Here, I have my personal Mac, so this one's not a laptop, it has to be plugged into a monitor for it to work, but I bought this so that I'd be able to publish my games to the iOS App Store, since iOS games actually require a Mac to build, which was pretty annoying, it was a lot of money that I had to sink into this, when it seems like other platforms don't have these restrictions, but that's Apple for you. Here I have my old laptop. This is what I used to develop my games on. There's nothing wrong with it, but after starting full-time work and finally building a PC, I just really haven't had the need to use my laptop anymore. I have something much more powerful already, so this laptop just kind of sits here now until I'll find some time to sell it eventually. And of course, the biggest part of this setup that's impossible to miss, my monitor. It's a 49 inch 32 to 9 aspect ratio mono price ultra wide monitor. This thing is so big that I use it as two screens for any of my game dev projects. So I'll have one window on one half and then another window on the other and I don't even need multiple monitors since one is enough to do the trick. For gaming it's really nice for things like sim racing where I get a really wide view of things so I like having this single monitor set up. The 
The last part of my setup that I wanted to get to that I only got super recently is my sim racing setup. It consists of a Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel and pedal set, and a Thrustmaster THAA shifter. I'm still pretty bad at sim racing, but I guess over time I'll get better at it. And that concludes my quick tour of my game dev and gaming setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to give a huge thanks to the LEGO Maniac 10 for supporting me and my games as a King Patron. If you'd like to support me and my projects as well, please do check out my Patreon page in the video description. That's all I had for today, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.